Thursday didn't happen. Um, I didn't have this Luan. Hey, get a seat. I didn't have this Luan to do the ceiling, and we did need to uh, get busy cutting up the rest of that wood. Yeah, we that that tree, that giant tree you saw. It's it's three feet through the middle. Um, we do have. Uh, some people are going to come and take care of that. It'll be a few weeks before they get here. But this morning, I went to the big box store. Man, Curly did. He he loves going there. He does. He literally going there, if you know what I mean. And uh, I picked up this Luan, and it was off the same pile as we had got the last time. So it matches the walls perfectly, which is what we need in this camper. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to just flow through smooth. It's going to be nice. Now I've got to make this ceiling. So there's a few measurements that I've got to make. And uh, let me just take you with me instead of trying to do some cuts and some edits. We'll let Russ do that if he feels it's appropriate. But uh, to get my measurement, because I don't have the trailer, I know right here that my deck Try to do this without causing an international incident. It is exactly 77 and a half. Now you would think, well, you built it, why don't you know that? Uh, listen. Whoa! I have measured about 9,000 things between now and then. So my deck is 77 and a half. The roof has to go edge to edge. So we have to add for our two pieces of wall. So let's go over here and you can see my mess of uh, these last few windows that we're waiting. Hopefully it'll be delivered today. I think it's out for delivery so I can get my gaskets. So I'm gonna measure two of these because they're exactly the same. I remember these because I made, I kind of threw a little fit about it. They're, they're three quarters. I know they're three quarters so I have to add an inch and a half, but let's, uh, let's be sure. Let me show you. I find two of them here that are close together, and they are definitely real close inch and a half, but I want to get an exact measurement. Let me find one. Oh, these two are real close. Oh, inch. It's only inch and three-eighths. Inch and three-eighths. So we didn't get exactly to three-quarters, but we got an inch and three-eighths. Or two three quarters. We got instead of inch and a half, we got inch and three eighths. We're an eighth shy, and that's okay. We can work with eighths here. We start working with sixteenths, thirty seconds. I don't think that's. I don't know on some of this. I don't know that even matters. But an eighth matters because an eighth here. By the time you do this, this, and that, you know you've got three quarters, and you're off at the front from the back. So we've got seventy seven and four eighths, which is 77 and a half, plus one and three eighths, which would give us 78 and seven eighths. So we're just an eighth short. I guess I could have done that math a whole lot easier. So we're at 78 and seven eighths, 79. We might even just call it 79. Uh, nobody's gonna notice as long as we do all of them. And we're getting ready to cut them all right now at we're just gonna probably cut them at 79. You know, by the time you put the screws and the glues and all that in there. So right here, where am I pointing at? Behind there, uh, uh, those are my one by fours. So I'm gonna get my one by fours out and I'd like to make four of these. Cause if I make the, the front come up, then I can know where I'm gonna put the window because I can measure that off of my skin out front. I saved those, those skin from the front and the back, but just the bottom part. I just need to know where they start. Then I can measure my windows and go up to see where my next uh, one by four needs to go. And then once I see that, then I can build the piece that goes over the top of it. So we'll have the front eight feet and I'll do the exact same thing on the back and I'll have the back eight feet. Now there for a while, I'd like to leave it open a little bit just to let the light in. So um, 
You've seen me build these before. If something weird comes up, I'll bring it up to you. I might just do a little fast motion or something, but I'm gonna build four of those and we might talk a little bit in between. I'll be right back. I decided that I'm just gonna cut all six of these. I think from my measurement that the roof is about 24. Well, we've got six sheets. We're gonna have to shellac them anyway. So instead of trying to shellac four now and two later, even though we're gonna have to trim one of them up, I think it's probably a little less than 24. But we'll make our trim at that point, but it'll already be shellac and we'll save a step. And I haven't heard from, it's Friday. Like I said, we didn't get anything done Thursday. This is Friday and I'm trying to get something done so that I don't fall too far behind. So we're gonna cut all six of these. I got them clamped here, obviously, and then I clamped them real good at the end so they don't run on me. Um, don't recommend this if you haven't done it a few times, but it is a time saver because I have done all six separately before. Um, so I'm gonna cut it real quick. Then uh, I'm gonna start doing my measuring. And after I do my measuring, then we'll put our one by four rafters on it get them glued, let them sit glued for a while. It's humid today, humid. And uh, then we'll come back maybe later and uh, get them shellacked and get them ready. So here I go. Not before I get a battery. Sometimes it's your first day in the shop and you forget to uh, energize. Here we go. do that in those shows I watch on TV like blowing sawdust makes you look like you're working <sighs> pretty cool huh not really all right got them cut I'm going to uh, try to get these situated in the order I think they should go in because they're not all exactly the same but I know like I tell you when you look at the ceiling in bed at night those ones over the bed they better be the best ones because you're looking at them all night before you go to sleep all right, here I go. the fact that I'm not doing anything really very interesting by using interesting camera shots. I hope it's working. All right, we got our rafter ready for our ceiling piece. And I, what I did, let me tell you first before I do this, is this is the rear, the bottom piece of the rear. We can't put one down here yet because if you remember, it curves under. So there's gonna be a piece already down there, but we have to put the walls on first. And once we get the walls on, then it'll just slip onto that one. So we don't need that one here. We may have to put one here, but I measured up 36 inches to the bottom of the window. So I'm gonna set this one at the bottom of the window. So let's just hit that one real quick. All right, we're gonna just put some of these weights on here for right now. I should have, uh, I can run over here and get a couple of, I've got a board under here to make it more sturdy. A long board underneath. Let me grab a couple of, uh, Clamps, you know, our 99 cent clamps at the big box door. Don't drive by them. Okay, that's set at exactly 36. Same here. Now, 
The next measurement that we're going to be interested in is our window, our rear window. And I happen to have that right here. So this window, we want it to be able, it's kind of got a little curve out right here, flat there. So it's got to sit flat right here and it's got to go all the way to here, not here, because then we'd be a quarter off. So here and here, so we'll take that measurement. We want to be pretty precise. So we're at 13 and, whew, well, we better get back down here. We're gonna say 13 and three quarters. 13 and three quarters. We cut it at exactly 13 and three quarters. We're gonna have a real nice tight fit, but we've only got 12 inches here. So when we build our piece that goes on top of this, so 13 and three quarters, so minus 12 inches is gonna be one and three quarters. We'll start here on the next one, drop down an inch and three quarters, and that's where our first board, well, yeah, that'll be where our first board is on that one. And then the other end will be hanging off halfway. We've done that before. Um, let's let this one sit and dry. And uh, maybe I'll grab that second piece real quick. And while it's still, that inch and three quarters is still fresh on my mind, and you've got all these interesting shots of things you already know, let's do that. What I did here, this will be the top of the back window. So I went in an inch and three quarter, like we talked about. And then this is the part that'll go How's that for an interesting shot? Not very. And this is the part right back here that's gonna go over the top of the roof. It'll make that curve. And I took it an inch and three quarters as well because that would be half of this board. So when this board lays on here at an inch and qu three quarters with an inch and three quarters hanging off, well, that means I just put too much glue on that half. So I'm gonna move that glue in here so I don't have to sand it off when it dries. Here at Dumas Industries, we like to do things the wrong way the first time. And really, that's just a learning exercise for our viewers. You know, I could have done that right the first time, but then really, how, how would you have learned had I done that, right? You're welcome. So anyway, as I was saying, we've got Three quarters on, three quarters off. So I'm gonna mark this at that three quarters, right, right there. Once you clamp it, it kind of runs on you a little bit. It's weird, but it does it. All right. So get on there. Let's do it like that. So there will be three quarters under here that will accept that other piece. So the next piece of Luan that comes to meet it across the top, it will go under there three quarters of an inch as if that's what we had designed it to do. Because we did. And that'll save you a lot of time and trouble. So we're just gonna do the same thing here, except this one is coming inboard inch and three quarters. So we did that one right, believe it or not, because I, I can't show you wrong if I don't show you right. So that's just part of my teaching method. I don't do things wrong here. It's a teaching method, teaching method. All right, so let me catch this one right here. And our, this will be the rest of the top of the window right here. And, uh, I think that's probably gonna be pretty good to do it like that. All right. I don't know if we can get this to stick out any further or not. I may have to come in here like that, just so that that two by four can get a little action on there. All right, so bottom piece of the front or the rear. And I, I've written it down there just so I don't forget. 
And then this will be the other piece that hits the curve uh, coming up from the bottom and it'll accept the window. So that's what I'm gonna do uh, for the front. And then uh, I might make just a couple other random pieces that'll fit under there on the front and the back and run that next four feet. And that'll give us uh, 16 feet of our 24 feet. And uh, we'll shellac those up and then we'll consider what we're gonna do from there, maybe nothing. But welcome to Interesting Shop Friday. So we're just, as you know, stuck waiting on that frame. So I thought, let me run a little amber shellac. And uh, as I get to kind of, I know this isn't painting, but it kind of is, you know, it's putting a, you know, a color on the wood here. I was talking to a subscriber and we got talking about art because they called me, they said, man, you are an artist. And I was like, no way. I couldn't draw, paint, or carve a statue that would look like anything other than a stick figure. So, you know, I go into an art museum or something and I am, I'm honest, I'm 100% lost. It, it makes no sense to me at all. And uh, they said, no, if you think about it and you're honest about it, what you're doing is, is a type of art. And I'm like, well, you know, I'm not gonna argue with you. I feel like I'm more of a craftsman than an artist. Really, and you know, and I use that term loosely because there's some really good craftsmen that are artisans out there, in my opinion. But uh, that, that led me to start thinking about when I was in high school and we all had to take art class. And I hated it because I don't understand art. I don't understand how all those squiggly lines in a really old painting mean that that is some kind of something, I don't know. I get lost in it, I honestly do, and it frustrates me talking about it. But, you know, I was the same way with math. Algebra one, I was barely, I mean, barely passing. Otherwise, I was a pretty good student. But man, I couldn't do math, and one day, my algebra teacher, he says, Hey, Rob, how much do you weigh? As a freshman, I said, I don't know, about 90 pounds. He goes, hey, how would you like to pass algebra? And I'm like, I'd love to pass algebra. He goes, I don't have a 90 pounder on our freshman team. Show up to the field house. Starting tomorrow, you're going to be on the wrestling team and pass algebra. Well, shoot, I thought that was just about the greatest thing in the world. Because both of those things happened. I wrestled, I got really good, and I passed algebra. So I'm not gonna tell you how I passed algebra, but you could probably put the two and two together. But that is, I wasn't here to brag about how great of a wrestler I was. I was here to tell you a little story about, you know, sometimes you could be really good at something and be successful, like wrestling. Sometimes you can be really bad at something and be successful. So, as much as I disliked art, our art teacher disliked me. And I was not passing art because I don't understand it and I can't follow the directions to make it work. And I had a habit of talking. I talked a lot, usually out of turn. And if I thought something was funny, I said it in art class. Probably did the same in algebra. And uh, one day the teacher, she's just so frustrated with me and I understand it, I do. It's just part of who I am. And she goes, Ra, how would you like to pass art? And I looked at her and I said, that's not possible, but I'd love to pass art. She said, if you just shut your mouth for the rest of the semester, I'll pass you. I literally looked at her and went, kicked the lock, threw it away, and guess what? I didn't say another word in that class, unlike Curly. I didn't say another word in that class 
and I ended up with a C. My heart didn't get better, but the thing that pleased my wrestling coach was my hard work and determination to be a good wrestler helped me pass algebra. With the art teacher, my hard work and determination to shut my mouth and make her day easier passed, passed art. And you know, sometimes you have to be good at different things. And so if somebody says, hey, you're doing a good job. I think you're an artist. Just tell them, hey, thanks. Thanks. So, hey, subscriber. Thanks. We've been shellacking. It's still drying. Look at that one. That one looks real nice. Real, real nice. There's a couple of them over here. Look at that. As you kind of pass that bird's eye right there. It's still drying, like I said, so. Wow. That is, that's going over the bed, I'll bet. I'll tell you that right now. Who couldn't stare at either this one or that one for a while. But I promised you, oh wait, check that angle out. Man, oh man. This was just a really good stack. Man, I like it. I like it. But, 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 I'm not just here to talk about shellac and my high school days. Let's go to the big board. Now, as you know, we did meet with the customer. What a nice lady. Really enjoyed that meeting. Um, build the rafters and the ceiling. We did that, but you know, that really, that only took about three hours. That wasn't very, it doesn't, I've done it so much that I have a little system and it doesn't take very long. Of course, we rebuilt the door as we didn't mark that out. We reworked the baggage door. I did not do the reflectors. That's just one of those things I think I'm gonna wait on, uh, do a little research because of the way they are designed. Uh, rebuild windows. Oh my gosh. You know what? I am embarrassed to tell you that I've got about 15 hours in those windows and I just have to put them together and, and just to finish those last what do we have two last two together that won't take 30 minutes so you can add that in however you want but that that was a tough 15 hours pretty tough it was good shape it was just old a little curly are you on the big board to do pet the shop inspector oh he's a good boy he's a good boy all right so we got, we can, we're really going to mark this out because we just got to put them together. So I think other than rehab the reflectors, um, I think we met the big board. So we got the weekend coming up and I guess there's just not much I can do here because um, I'm waiting on the frame still. And I know it's just because we've been out without power. So I'm going to go work on those down trees some more and try to make, you know, proper use of my time so we made it to friday got our hours in we hit the big board um now it's just a waiting game unless i can think of something else that i can do while i wait i just don't know what it is i'll be back in a few days something good for you